if somebody sits and laments about uh, something is that they are brooding over they are sitting and crying over the spilt milk so that is what the meaning of lament is so here greater community is nothing but the hi-fi society which the poet is talking about somewhere when it was wrong we should have heard that means maybe that detail is missed out from your observation or maybe there was no problem at all the answer is actually unknown Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shalini, Professor of English, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today we are here to understand one of the poems prescribed by University of Mysuru for second sem BCom. We are going to understand about the poem, The Unknown Citizen Today. And in this module, we are going to understand about the poet first, then we will move on to the theme, then we will understand the summary. Then we'll move on to literary devices and at the last we are going to understand the new words that are there if at all in this poem. So let us begin the session by understanding about the poet. So here is the poet. He is W.H. Auden and he is a British American poet. So he has written lot of uh, poems then uh, whatever elements that were included in his poems are politics, moral, then love, religion, all these. So he has written in various genres and he has been a very famous poet all over in uh, America. So his poetry is actually known for uh, the achievement that is a technical achievement also the satirical style which he used to write. He uses his poems to talk about the very uh, minute elements of the society that is affecting the citizens. So this poem is also one such element. Then here the famous poem written by W.H. Auden is uh, Funeral Blues and it had love as its theme. So as I told you he has written about various genres, various elements are there in his poems and this poem actually has love in particular. So this was a very short introduction about W.H. Auden. So now we will enter to the poem and we'll understand the summary of the poem. So uh, we'll just understand the theme before we enter the poem here. So theme, the unknown citizen uh, written by W.H. Auden is, it, it actually laments the loss of personal freedom. What is lamenting? Lamenting is nothing but to brood over, okay? If somebody sits and laments about uh, something is that they are brooding over, they're sitting and crying over the spilt milk. So that is what the meaning of lament is, to feel sad about something which you cannot revert. So that is called as lamenting. To of the laws of this personal freedom in modern society. So how personal freedom is lost when you come to, when you have to adjust in modern society is what the poet talks about in this poem. And also ironically criticizes, so irony is a literary device that is used here in this poem. He ironically criticizes the state which dictates and opposes the fundamental right that is the freedom to the citizen. So it actually opposes because of the bureaucracy, this fundamental rights are lost by the citizen. So this is what the poet talks about in this poem, unknown citizen. So loss of personal freedom is shown here and how somebody laments over the loss of personal freedom is the actual theme of this poem. So let us move on to the poem now. So let me just tell you this uh, poem actually complains about the, the semi-socialist uh, practice that was there in American society. And when it comes to the rhyme scheme, the rhyme scheme varies in the whole poem, varies throughout the whole poem. So we can say that it is written, uh, it, it has enjambment only as a literary device and the rhyme scheme is not regular. So there is an irregular rhyme scheme. So you cannot maintain a rhyme scheme over there. The basic uh, theme is that the like to add on to this theme, there is a an agency kind of thing which has a watch over all the citizens in America. So the poet is talking about that over here. So that agency collects all the details of all the peoples and keeps it until his death. That means each and every person is watched over, each and every person's uh, very small details are also collected and it is maintained in that agency. So this is what the poet is talking about. So when you are being watched continuously, it is nothing but you are losing your personal freedom. Whatever you do at home, even that goes to the notice of the agency. That means you don't have personal freedom at all. Your fundamental rights are actually lost. Okay. So this is what the poet is talking about in this poem. 
So let us look, have a look at the poem now. Let us go with the summary now. He was found by the Bureau of Statistics. I was talking to you about an agency that was keeping a track of all the individuals. So that is this Statistics Bureau to be one against whom there was no official complaint. So here the poet is talking about a person. He is talking about a soldier. Uh, this is something uh, very much uh, related to Walt Whitman's uh, poem. Okay, so the poet is actually talking about that and he is um, talking about that soldier who has lost his life and the poet is now talking about it. Okay, so he was one against whom there was no official complaint. So against that person, there was no official complaint at all means to what an extent they must have observed that person. Isn't it? So, he, there is no official complaint at all. That means they have gone through all the uh, police stations that comes in that uh, jurisdiction and they might have recorded each and every movement of that individual. Okay. So, there was no official complaint at all and all the reports on his conduct, conduct is the behavior. Fine. And all the reports on his conduct agree that in the modern sense of an old fashioned word, he was a saint. So, in the modern sense of an old fashioned word. So, suppose he was called that he was an old fashioned person when it is compared to the new that is the modern world he can be called as a saint means he does not have any bad habits. He does not uh, uh, go off the track and also his conduct is very good. That means he is supposed to be a saint. So, to that extent he was extremely good is what the poet says. For in everything he did, he served the greater community. So, here greater community is nothing but the hi-fi society which the poet is talking about. Fine, the individual that is the common man who does not have a complaint against him and he is like a saint, his character is very good, he serves the greater community. That means he has not gone against anything, he has gone with the flow, that means he has adjusted with the society, he has gone with the greater community is what the poet tells about. This is an introduction of how that person was watched. Then going further, except for the war, till the day he retired, he worked in a factory and never got fired. Never got fired in the sense when you are talking about war and you are getting fired, you are talking about that does not mean that it is shooting. But he was not removed from work. That means he has not gone against his employer also. Fine. So, except for the war till the day he retired. That is during the war he was not working but till the day he retired he worked in a factory. So, the place he was working so that is told about and he is a common man so he has not got fired also. But satisfied his employers when he never got fired when he was not removed from work obviously he would have satisfied his employers. Fine, but satisfied his employers, Fudge Motors Incorporation. So, here Fudge Motors, he is referring to Ford Motors, okay. So, that Ford company is there, no. So, he is talking about that. So, since he cannot take directly the name of that company, he has used it this way. Fine, so Fudge Motors Incorporation, yet he was not a scab or odd in his views. So, he satisfied his employers. He was, his employers actually were very much satisfied by this person's work and still he was not a person who was a waste or who was different from others. He was actually a very common man, a very normal man. For his union reports that he paid his dues, means the union, the workers union whatever was there, the a report was collected from that also, he paid his dues. He did not have any dues at all. He paid it on time is what the poet says. So, the union you can see it is the name of something the poet is talking about. So, it is written in capital letter. The proper nouns start with capital letter, right? So, here also union is, uh, the poet is referring to the union that is the association that the employees have made and that gives a report that he has paid his dues. Fine. Our report on his union shows it was sound but that union whether it was proper or not that also has to be told, isn't it? But when they collect the report about the union that also was sound. So, this person was very sound. He was very good at paying back the, his dues, whatever. Fine. He has done it 
on time fine hope you can uh, understand this so now moving to the next stanza and our social psychology so they have collected report from the social psychology department also social psychology workers found that he was popular with his mates mates means friends fine so he was very popular among his friends also and liked a drink that means he never dedicated his uh, time to only work but he used to go out with his friends also he used to spend time with his friends also he used to go on a drink or anything for that matter that means he used to uh, go outing uh, with his friends also so that that is what the poet is trying to say here so he was popular among his friends also the press are convinced so here next comes the press the newspaper printing place are convinced that he bought a paper every day that means he was good at reading also that means he used to buy Uh, newspapers every day that means he has catered to the needs of all the categories in the society his friends his employers then his uh, the people who have given him some loan or anything wherein he pays back the dues then the poet also talks about the press which has uh, like from which he has bought newspapers every day so all these he was everywhere but nowhere he was called as a bad person or an abnormal person fine so here the press also are convinced the press also is happy with that unknown citizen here and that his reactions to advertisements were normal in every way the way he used to react to the advertisements was very much normal fine that means he was not reacting much to the advertisements how the common man would react the same way he also was reacting so there was nothing special about it so this was the way of living of this unknown citizen policies taken out in his name prove that he was fully insured and his health card shows he was once in a hospital but left it cured that then here you can see there are insurance policies also that are taken and then we can see that he was completely insured that means the accident insurance or whatever he had taken it showed that he has made his life secure he has insured his life then his health card that is when we are talking about the um, the medical issues that he had that also shows that he had one health card and once when he was in hospital he had got whatever his ailments were he got it cured and he had left the hospital so you can just observe how much the bureaucracy is uh, into an individual's life fine uh, the poet is talking about the american uh, society the structure of society okay so here the poet is talking about how an individual how much an individual is observed fine so the health card also that is the record of that health card also is taken then the insurance policies everything buying a newspaper that is a very trivial matter that also is being observed fine so so many things for that bureau to observe that is the bureau of statistics to observe that means how much the personal freedom of this man is taken away okay so you can just gauge that both producers research and high grade living declare the poet is talking about the producers research means very high level in the society high grade living declare he was fully sensible to the advantages of the installment plan so the installment plan also he was very well aware of it and had everything necessary to the modern man so how a modern man should live he was very well aware of that so he was very much adapted to the modern technology which were the things that he was using uh, that is during the uh, time of this poem being written so which were the things it was a phonograph or a radio a car and a frigidaire is nothing but fridge so all these modern technologies were adapted by him in his everyday life fine so he was nowhere to be considered second to the normal person that means he was on par with whatever modern technology that is changing and also he was very much uh, aware of what and all technology are there and he adapted it in his life our researchers into public opinion are content that he held the proper opinions for the time of year 
then not only this much not only his lifestyle he they were uh, observing his opinions also the public opinion what he was giving means suppose you comment on somebody on twitter or anything so that time whatever comments you have given that also is being observed so this way like among so many people that is crores of people only you being observed it is really a matter which you have to ponder upon isn't it like that each individual being observed is really it is actually appealing it is uh, like something you have to get scared of because so many things to observe and they are into it so now you can see his opinion also was being observed and how much he was being observed and how much there was an eye kept on him you can understand that he held the proper opinions for the time of year the whole of year wherever he has commented all those comments were observed and they were considered to be very normal okay when there was peace he was for peace so that means after the war when there was peace that is that was there he was for peace he used to argue for peace when there was war he went that means when war was taking place he had gone to the war to fight to represent his nation fine so how the water flows he was going with the flow is what the poet is trying to say and he also says that if at all he had not adjusted for the flow of water like as the water uh, flow flows uh, if had not adjusted then he would have been landed in trouble but he has adjusted to each and every stage of his life okay so that is what he tells over here he, when there was peace he was for peace peace he used to support and at the same time when it was war he has represented his nation over there he was married and added five children to the population so there also he is normal isn't it he is married like other normal people he was people he was also married and he also had five children which our eugenist says was the right number of a parent of his generation that means earlier there was no family planning and all they used to just give birth to kids so in the same way when which our eugenist eugenist means somebody who does research fine so that research also when it was conducted there also he was normal because during that time uh, since they did not think about family planning and all five children is actually considered as normal so here also the same thing that was the right number for a parent of his generation fine so there also he was normal and our teachers report that he never interfered with their education that means the kids education the teachers who were there for giving uh, education to his kids they always told that he never had interfered with their education that means not like uh, nowadays parents okay nowadays parents they just come poke their nose into the teachers matter and all so that is whenever uh, the school matters and all whenever teachers say something they go oppose something like that so modern parents are like that but when his uh, children were studying he was not at all going and interfering he just left them to study on their own so there also he was normal only but the question now the poet rises is was he free was he happy he was doing everything he was being observed he was doing everything like he thought it is his duty to do all these things and he was doing it but the question is was he free did he have freedom is what the poet is asking about was he happy that was that giving happiness whatever he was doing did it really give happiness to him is what he is asking the question is absurd after talking about all these in the end i am asking the question so this is really absurd absurd means it is not uh, proper for me to ask the question here had anything been wrong so now the question being absurd that is it should not have been asked but still i am asking it but if at all there was something wrong if he was not free or if he was unhappy with whatever he was doing then had anything been wrong if at all anything was wrong over there then we should certainly have heard that means so much is being observed wherever we saw there was no problem at all that means in his life there is no problem at all if at all there was anything wrong we have observed so much somewhere we would have noticed that point that it is wrong is what the poet is trying so somewhere when it was wrong we should have heard that means maybe that detail is missed out from your observation or maybe there was no problem at all the answer is actually unknown so this is the summary of this unknown citizen 
So the citizen is actually, uh, you can see the irony here, unknown citizen. The citizen you can see, so much is known about him. That means all the minute details and all is present in that bureau. But the uh, about the citizen, it is unknown. Means his name itself is not known. It is not given here. His name itself is not known. So that is the irony of this poem here. Though so much is known, we don't know the name only is what the poet is telling about. Fine. So now we will move on to the literary devices. In this poem, we have only two literary devices that is alliteration and enjambment. Alliteration is the repetition of sounds in the beginning of the word. Then enjambment, so you already know what is enjambment. The sentence doesn't the end of that line, it ends somewhere in the middle and again another line starts just like that. Okay, so there is no uh, ending in the that is the sentence doesn't end in the end of the line, it ends somewhere in the middle. So these are the two literary devices that are found in this poem. Okay, so this was the summary of the unknown citizen written by W. H. Auden. And I'm sure you will enjoy reading the poem because there are not many new words that are used. You can very easily understand the poem. So just go through the recorded lecture and then go through the poem. I'm sure you will be able to understand. If you still have doubts, we are always there to clear your doubts in the physical classes. So thank you for your time, children. Keep learning. See you soon in another more interesting session. Take care. Bye-bye.